Hey everybody, it's me again. Um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on nail art. So right now I have something like this. It's um, some zebra pen, different technique. Um, but I'm just going to be doing a simple color with some zebra print and some lines or some polka dots. It's going to be very random. Um, I'll show you what products I'm going to use so that you guys can see what I'm using and then I'll also list them down below so you can see exactly what I'm using so if you want to purchase anything or if you want to try it out and maybe you like some things and you don't like other things feel free to try it out so let me show you what it is that I'm using um, I'm gonna be using as you see pure acetone so that um, the nail polish will come out easier a few cotton balls um, some people like to use the little, I have, um, some people have other nail polish removers. I tried this one, but I feel like the pure acetone takes the nail polish off faster. I'm going to be filing and make sure my nails are even with my nail file. And if there's any cuticles, you could take a reusable one or, or disposable one like this and using the edges to, to pull back your cuticles. I'm going to use um, California Mango Mango Magic for your cuticles. This is a pretty good product. It's my product of the week on Facebook. Um, for your base coat, I'm going to use OPI Nail Envy. And then the base, um, the coat I'm going to be using is OPI. It is Tickle My Fancy, if you see that right there. It's a really nice color for the fall, so I'm going to be using that. I don't know if you can see it. And then my top coat is going to be OPI, and then I'm just going to be using regular black nail art pens. So let's get started. So as you see, my nails are done. I just finished the second coat. Um, so if you see, they're like a brown with a little bit of a hint of purple, so... Oh, that's the best way I could describe it. It has like pinks, purple. I mean, it's pretty brown, but it has different shades of, you know, it's not just brown or pink or purple. It's like a mixture of the two. And we're going to let it dry so that once we get our nail art pen, um, this is a Milan one. Um, I got this at my CVS. They're like, um, four or five dollars I don't remember exactly how much this one was um I also have this one here which is from Claire's and it has two brushes it has a dotted for dots and then there's one for lines and um this one costs it's in the back here 550 for US so that's not too bad because you have um two brushes in here I like that one so we're gonna wait for it to dry and then when we come back we will do the zebra stripes and other nail art on the nails. So I'm back. We started with this um, Tickle Me Fancy from OPI and I did my right hand so you can have an idea of what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing some stripes. I'll finish them off and some zebra print. Um, I want to show you how to do the zebra print. Um, so First, what we do is we take our black um, nail art pen, and what we do is we're going to be making, let me zoom in a little, we're going to be making like V's, so we're going to do something like this and something like that, so it's more of like a V, little V's and lines. So make sure your brush isn't completely loaded up with nail polish. So there's a V. And then you could just do different designs like lines. Some of the V's could be a little longer. So we're doing like an in and out pattern, if you see. With the other side. Do some polka dots like that. Could do a little line here. 
It's basically, you know, however you feel like doing it. You don't really have to have a certain pattern going on. So you see? So we're going to do these, these two fingers. We're going to miss our middle finger. We're going to do these two in cheetah print. So let's do this one. Start off at different points so there's not too much of the same pattern going on. Put some these interlocking. Go. We got two of them with cheetah print. So now we're going to do stripes. We're going to take our thumb. As you see here, we're going to start from this side and make a line up. So you want to have like a smooth, you want to have a stiff balance on your hand so you don't mess it up. And take it and make another line. And it's okay if you have that on your nail, on your hands. We'll take the nail polish remover and take it out later. And then we'll do some two, two smaller lines on the opposite side. So something like that. We'll do the middle finger. So if you start on this side with the thumb, we're going to do this side with the other hand. And see, some, sometimes this will happen you didn't have enough nail polish. It's okay, just go back and try to keep the same line. So we started on this side with this hand, so now we're going to start on this side. See, that right there is a little too much nail polish. There you go. So we got, that's what we have. That's how it's gonna look. And if you want, you can add some white dots. So you want to make sure that you test this so that the dots are coming out. And you can make some polka dots. You see and it doesn't have to be an even pattern you could just throw them in there wherever you like with my thumb I'm just gonna leave it like that I'm not gonna put the polka dots I'll probably just put a polka dot on the bottom right here you see Okay, and then let's do our other hands. Polka dot 
right. Right there. So that's how they look. See, there's... There's stripes and polka dots, cheetah print, stripes and polka dots, cheetah print, and then stripes and a little dot. Same side for the other side. When everything is dry, we're going to take our OPI top coat. This is the best that's going to give it a shine. I mean, it has some sort of shine, as you see now, but once we... Once we had our top coat will look even better. And you want to make sure everything is dry so that none of the nail art will, will smear. You see it's giving it an even better shine. If you look at this nail and you look at these two nails, they have more of a shine with the top coat. Okay, now we do our left hand. Perfect. See how much shinier they are? Okay, so we just finished our nails, and these should look something like this. As you see, they're the cheetah print, stripes, and polka dots, and that's how it should look. Um, and um, once again, I'll be posting everything that we used on the bottom with the descriptions, what nail polish colors we used, and all that information. Um, hopefully 